That's right. We're about to get on Barb Gale out of Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Going for some ling, flounder, sea bass, and whatever the hell else I feel like pulling up out this goddamn water. My man Sheed over here. Let's get it. He, he, he actually smiling this time. No, it ain't. Man. People looking at me. I it, forgot they looking at me. It ain't a smile with a with a. Uh, it ain't a mask this time. No, don't hate the dad. Yo, that joint is hilarious. I love that joint though. I'm Quinn, the Rod Father, and this is Rod Rage Fishing. It's that zest to go. No, she must flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that. That's right, boys and girls. Today we are aboard the Barb Gale out of Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Ready to catch this ling and this sea bass for that ass. You know what time it is. All right, guys. It's going to be the first drop. In about 125 feet of water. I have a high low rig on with a chartreuse gold minnow on the bottom hook and a piece of clam on the top hook. A burgal. Baby Bergal. Oh yeah. Guys, when you hook these things, guys, just lift up one time and you reel. You don't, you don't want to lift real hard multiple times. You want to make one hole in your mouth. You don't want to make a slice. Got that eight ass finger bathroom around every time you lift it. Comes out. Oh. And keep your hands to yourself. Oh, yeah. Look at that bendage, baby. Slow and steady. Yep. I got spots that are more predominantly all ling. I'll hit one of them later. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sea bass. Came right off. I'll take my bait back. You can have a piece of it, though. <coughs> Come on. 
Come on, man. You were supposed to watch my videos before you came here. Uh, yeah, good, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Another sea bass. Right, man. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this better not be escape. Now you feel that boop, 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 what you feel down, you got it. Nice one, Rob. You got a nice one coming here? Uh, that like bandage, baby. That bandage. What do you got there, man? Get a flounder, let us know. I'm hoping That's it's right. a flounder. Is it a flounder? I hope so. Yep. Yeah. We got it. I mean, you can see it, it looks good. Sometimes, if you don't, if you look down with a flounder and you don't see the hook, you want to net it. Because they'll come out a lot of times. You okay. see it look good? That's a nice flounder too, though. That's right, you're going to catch two of those. Get them. There you go. That's what I do, baby. Oh yeah. Got him? Yeah. That's a nice man. Amazing man. You can go 50 foot up this rock bridge. Oh yeah. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Nice, you all right. It's always for the guy that didn't even want one. You know? Get it, bro? You keep him? Yep, he's a keeper. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got a for you. Like that. Another ling. Lang lang. You don't want to let go of this hook. There we go. Shown. You got that beautiful grip above that rail. Oh. What you got? Get him in. Nice sea bass. You get that nice. beautiful grip above there and you don't use it. When you're reeling, that's Sometimes. Like four ahead of it. Fresh water fish ever? Yeah. A lot of times you see that when guys fresh water fish, they always hold the reel before the reel when they reel. I would I would wait for one like that. Fanny. Hey, what's your size? Nice wing there. You got like the one right there behind you. Nice wing coming there. Here they come, boys. Bounce past this. Get him. Wrap on the tip. Wrap on the tip. Feels weird, right? 
there. Nice, bro. I'm looking at this tip. It must have felt like he was 100 pounds. <laughs> Dang, let me know, alright? Yep, we're gonna fight pretty good. It might be a nice sea bag, maybe. A sea bag? Yep. Come on in here. Hey guys, caught a lot of fish in this trip, so had to make this a two-part video because I didn't want you to miss anything. So stay tuned for part two. Peace. It's that zest, you, bro. No.